Hi, I'm Dr. Chauncey Stokes, and I'm here with Dr. Nadeem Hawa and Dr. Jennifer Thompson. We're gynecologic surgeons, and we're part of the Minimally Invasive Gynecologic Surgery at ANOVA. We're here this afternoon to talk to you more about minimally invasive surgery. Patients ask, what is minimally invasive surgery? What is minimally invasive gynecologic surgery? It is still surgery, but it bypasses the larger, bigger incision in the abdomen. By the use of small keyhole artificial incisions in the abdomen, or by the use of natural openings, we are able to treat surgically a variety of gynecologic conditions. Common gynecologic conditions include abnormal menstrual cycles, heavy periods, painful intercourse, urinary loss, acute and chronic pelvic pain. Most of these conditions are treated medically, but sometimes surgery is needed. You might already have a diagnosis of a fibroid in your uterus, or a cyst on your ovary, or you might be suffering from chronic pain caused by endometriosis. All these conditions and more can be surgically treated in a minimally invasive approach. Now, what are the benefits of minimally invasive gynecologic surgery? It's a same-day surgery, smaller incisions, less time in the operating room, minimal blood loss, minimal anesthesia effect, fewer intraoperative complications, faster recovery, and less use of narcotics. There are three main approaches to minimally invasive gynecologic surgery. There is laparoscopic approach, there is a robotic assisted laparoscopic approach, and there is a hysteroscopic approach. This video will highlight two of the approaches, laparoscopic surgery and robotic assisted laparoscopic surgery. So what is the difference between laparoscopic surgery and robotic assisted laparoscopic surgery? In traditional laparoscopic surgery, the surgeon is standing next to the operating table at the patient's side and handling the laparoscopic instruments and manipulating them in real time at the bedside. In robotic surgery, the surgeon places the laparoscopic instruments through small incisions and then attaches these instruments to the arms of the robot. The surgeon then proceeds to the robotic console within the same room and controls those arms through the robot. So here we are in the OR, so now we'll show you some of the equipment and how the robot works. And this is typically how a robot would be docked to, to take care of a patient. Of course, this is a simulation. Now you see three arms are here. Each arm can be used for the camera, but primarily we use the camera in the middle port for gynecologic surgery. The other two arms that you see, one and three, are primarily used for the actual operation. Once we have the robot appropriately docked, I will then move over to the console and typically an assistant will come in and occupy this area and help me with the actual surgery. Here I am at the console. This allows us to operate and move the robotic arms on the patient by looking through the console. It's like a pair of binoculars and we're actually looking into the patient as we're operating. It also gives us up to 10x magnification. That's almost like a microscope. So these are the arms that we use to actually control the robotic arms on the patient. And these are moved by our hands as we're watching and looking through the, the binoculars. We also have foot pedals at the bottom, and those allow us to do certain things like coagulate blood vessels and various other things. And the nice thing about that is they never move. You know exactly where they are, and so you automatically, over time, know which way to move your foot in order to, to, to perform the operation. One of the biggest benefits of the use of the robot is its ability to make movements that the human hands cannot. A robotic arm provides an extended range of motion and improves surgical precision. Here you can actually see the delicate precision of the robot as the surgeon directs it to peel the grape. This delicate precision delivers less trauma to your tissues and allows your body to heal faster. Which is very nice when you're conducting surgery. It allows you to really concentrate on what you're doing. We hope this video has helped you answer some questions. If you think minimally invasive gynecologic surgery is for you, then please contact us at innova.org or just call us. Thank you so much.